turned author is making a stop in Connecticut while on a national book tour. Sounds like a great book, right? right? <laughs> so let's welcome Casey Barrett. He's the author of a new thriller, The Tower of Songs, a Duck Darley novel. Welcome, Casey. Now, I have to say, when I heard the title and the character's name, Duck Darley, it's like, so old-timey. I'm imagining, like, you know, the cigarettes and the dark alleys and the fedora. Is it like that? I, I'm, I'm a big classic noir fan, so okay. I guess there is a, a nod to that. Um, okay. Yeah, that was, I, I, that's what I love to read most, so it's naturally what I started writing. So this is your third book. Kind of set the scene for us. This is my third book in the series. Um, my character, Duck Darley, is, I refer to as a bit of a fallen rich kid. He was born into great wealth until his father went to prison for financial fraud. So I like to think that he has a, a very unique way to, um, to balance the wealth inequality and a way to um, solve cases that puts him into very much high-class environments and very low-class environments. Yeah, so I hear that it's like one of those noir books filled with booze and women and those kinds of scenes. Is that right? There's a little bit of that. <laughs> Based on anybody you know? Yeah. Characters got the inspiration. <laughs> uh, I'm lucky to name any names, but uh, there's, there's a few fine inspirations in there. Why'd you choose New York as the setting? I've been there um, for 21 years. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's home, and I've also seen, I've been there since the summer of 1998. And the story of the last two decades to me is the uh, kind of the corporate takeover hmm. of uh, the city, and it has wealth as wealth has swallowed particularly Manhattan. So that's a big, big focus of this book. A big focus is the billionaires' row of high rises, and the trade between China and the U.S. and how that infects a lot of New York's wealth as well. There's a lot going on because you're also kind of trying to talk about substance abuse a little bit, correct? Absolutely. There's um, a big through line through the series and particularly in this book is, uh, is opioid addiction um, hmm. and part of the trade that uh, the plot centers on is trade between China and the U.S. with pharmaceuticals hmm. and some uh, painkillers as well. Uh, so you were an Olympic swimmer. You did the TV thing for a while. Did you think you were going to be an author? Was this always a goal of it, yours? It was always the goal and the priority. It was. Absolutely. Oh, really? But I've really, really fond memories, as I mentioned uh, before we came on, of being in in studios. I did four Olympics with NBC and have, have really wonderful memories of uh, working those games. Well, tell us, set the scene a little bit. You swam in the Atlanta Olympics, is that right? I, I swam in Atlanta and. Soon after, I found myself in New York and um, started with NBC in 1999 and then wound up working for Olympics with them. So it was, it was easier, I, I feel like, to uh, compete and just have two minutes to worry about than 24 hours a day sure. to be working hard and on set. <laughs> well, what's next for you? Are you going to continue writing? Are you going to uh, get uh, back in the pool? <laughs> I, I will not be getting back in the pool anytime soon. I'll be getting in front of my laptop and writing as many books as possible, that's for sure. Do you have visions that this is going to be a long-standing series? I'm a fan of the Spencer books, you know, by oh, Robert. Parker, this. and yeah, there are a million absolutely. of them, right? So, yeah. is, do you envision that? I, I definitely hope for the series to keep going, but I also hope to write uh, many standalones and kind of mix it up from there. That's great. Uh, there's some really unique characters in this book. Would you care to explain some of maybe his girlfriend? His, perhaps? His, more his partner. <laughs> his I think, partner. I think he would like it to be his girlfriend, but uh, I guess she's my favorite character. It comes through in the writing, perhaps, but in her other life, she lives a bit of an alternative lifestyle. She's a professional dominatrix, hmm. um, and. Um, it's a it's a bit of a, a laughing point at school drop off as uh, <laughs> some some people wink at my wife and I and my wife's very fast to say it's not based on me it's not based on a, any anything. Uh, You're colorful, Casey. I'm I like <laughs> it. You got a creative imagination. <laughs> but she's a fun character to write. Yeah. Tell us your website where folks can go and it's learn. It's at uh, my website's CaseyBarrettBooks.com. That's also my Instagram handle. Um, and that's about all I'm uh, active on in social media. I should be more active, but Instagram, I'm plenty active at Casey Barrett Books also. Yeah, we'll follow along on your adventures. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here. Thanks for having this me. This was fun. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, we're going to wrap things up today for CT Style. Tomorrow that's we right. have Box 63. They have some brunch ideas. Sounds good. I love Delicious. brunch. And the dressing room is getting us all ready for the fall. We can already feel the temperatures dip, dropping. All right, we have a lineup of upcoming shows at the Milford Performance Center. A whole lot going on. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks,